Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Gary Spencer. How's everybody doing? Want to make want to make this video on on some some of my uh, some of my favorite uh, some of the games I like playing for um for the PlayStation Two the most. And um, I'm gonna start off with the first game, and the game is um Blitz the League. Now, Blitz the League, you guys seen me playing this? This is it's it's not exactly like uh, NFL Blitz. Like the only difference with this game and an NFL game is this game. It's not actually an NFL. It's not an official NFL game. This is more like a anything go type of game. You know, it, it is like Blitz in a way, except the only difference is once you um when you're on defense and you and um. You can't jump on him and hit him again once he's down, but you could do like some serious dent. You could do some serious hitting and damage to somebody. You could do like dirty moves in this game. You can brawl and whatnot if you get enough dirty um, moves on on your on the other team. And there's a lot of other stuff going on in this game, but this is a pretty good football game. I like it. My uh, my second game, my second game, my second game we have is um. Fight Night Round 3. Fight Night Round 3, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. Like, you know, if you got, you know, Fight Night Round 2 was alright. But this one, I like this one better than Fight Night Round 2. Why? Because this one, this one, like I said, they look a little bit more. The graphics, you know, look more real. The hits and the sound effects are more real. And, um, and um, like I said, it just has, has better movement, better, um, you know, makes them look more a little bit more real and has good gameplay. So I'm pretty impressed with it. So fight night round three. Come here, fella. Let me try. Let me see if I can sit down. I'm standing up like while I'm uh I'm gonna stand. You know, let me uh sit, sit this down. Hold up. Excuse me for a second, y'all. I want to like change up a little bit. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah. That's a little bit more comfortable. So, all right, y'all. So my third. So so anyway, y'all. Like I was saying. So my third third game. You guys see me playing it was NHL two K ESPN NHL two K five. ESPN NHL two K five. This is probably one of the best um two K hockey games you can get, and also probably one of the best hockey games you can get. Now you know. Now I, now, I know you guys heard me say the NHL '98 was a, is a really is a really great uh, hockey game. It is PC and PlayStation One version. That's one of the best, but this one's actually pretty good. You know, real you know real ESPN theme on here. The graphics and gameplay is looking is really good. Um, you can see why you could do all kinds of do all kinds of stuff. You could do all kinds of stuff in this game. Like I said good good movement, good graphics, gameplay. You know, hit the ref. You know, hit the ref. Um, you know, um, you could you know do all kinds of like probably crazy hits in this game. You know, do all kinds of crazy hits in this game, and probably di all different types of game modes too. But like I said last Friday when I was playing this game, I found it to be fun. I was having a lot of fun playing this game though. You know, but that fight though, man, when that dude took after I lost the fight and the dude <laughs> pulled the ref down with him, that was fucking hilarious though. But yeah, you can hit the ref too that way. You know, guys, just in case, you know, wondering if y'all can, all you do, you know, just go under one of the options and where it says referee, I put it on, I put it under all. So he's scared of the puck and the player. So he's scared of all of us. So this is a good hockey game. I would recommend to get. All right. Next game. Fugitive Hunter. Now, Fugitive Hunter. This is a good, this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good shooting game. This is a pretty good uh, shooting game. You know, like I said, shooting game, like shoot all the enemy, like shoot all the enemies, like the gangs and whatnot. You know, different what, you know, different kinds of weapons, and then like basically you're looking for the uh, leader of the fugitives, and um, basically once you get to the leader, you know, you 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 fight you fight them one on one, and um, of course you got to beat them, and then you arrest them in order to move on to the next uh, move on to the next level. Like I said. Um, I gotta play, I gotta play this game again, cause like I said, that dude kept on kicking my ass, man. I'm like, how does he keep getting me? And I was like, I was like hitting him with them low kicks and whatnot, like, and he's still able to block that shit though. Like, that was crazy though, but yeah, I'm gonna get that dude eventually though. But yeah, this is a good shoot him game, Fugitive Hunt, yeah, Fugitive uh, Hunter, War on Terror, pretty good, you know. 
your secret agent and basically you're on the hunt for drug dealers and militia leaders and gun runners and you know international terrorists just like it says on the back so you know and different types of uh, weapons that was number four my fifth game now my fifth game and I, I just got this game and I can't wait to show it is I can't do it K1 Rural Grand Prix Prix kickboxing now man kickboxing i was i was practicing playing i was practicing playing this game when it came in the mail lost a few fights though but like i said once i once i came, kept on practicing practicing with it like i said i started getting i started getting better now i just started championship mode um to where i gotta fight i gotta beat all these fighters to get to the championship to get to the championship and um, i'm i'm uh, basically training my training my guy like getting his endurance Getting his strength endurance up and like in his legs, low endurance, high endurance, and you know all kinds of you know and other parts of the body to build up endurance and strength. Like I said, but this game is off the hook, man. I can remember when I was a kid. I can remember when I was a kid. There was like one kickboxing match on, but like I said, I don't really remember what year it was and who who the who the, who the fighters was. But like I said, this game is this game is good. This game is like. Probably one of the best games. It's basically just like boxing, you know, except it involves kicking, kickboxing. You know, think about kickboxing like Tybo, Billy Blanks, and, you know, and all, and like, you know, different martial artists, you know. But this is just basically just kickboxing once you go. You got to be back on your feet in 10 seconds. But like I said, I like this game. I like this game. It's, um, like I said, you know, really, you know, gameplay is good. Graphics are good. Um, Sound effects are good, and I think everything's on point in this game, you know. Um, so it's it's pretty good. I, I would recommend to get. I would definitely recommend to get it though. Like I said, so so that was uh, four, five. So yeah, that was five. So my next game played this a while ago. Got to get back into playing it though. But King of Fighter, King of Fighter, Maximum Impact. King of Fighter Maximum Impact, um, you know, um, pretty, like, like I said, this is a, this is good, this is good too, you know, 14 classic fighters, you know, um, there's a, um, SNK character, but basically by, um, Terry Bogart, he's on there from Street Fighter and whatnot, he's on there, this game, like I said, would, would have made a pretty, would have made a great arcade, um, game, in my eyes, um, good graphics, good gameplay, good, um, good everything good you know sound effects um you know um pretty good pretty good fighters um you know good combos and everything like that and um like i said um there, and then the other one i was checking out like i said it had there's there's more fighters than like the other one i was looking at but like this one's actually like i said this one's actually pretty decent though um you know it's definitely one of them fighting games definitely where you got to make sure that your hand coordination and uh is on point and you know on day because sometimes you play these type of fighting games that you're not an arcade or even sometimes you're on a system and if your hand coordination ain't filling up filling up for it that day like fast and hard you know how you you know play video games on arcade and people be going like really fast on uh hitting on buttons yeah like you know if it's like your hand coordination ain't up for it that day you're probably not gonna it probably ain't gonna get do that good today, but like I said, this game is probably probably one of the best fighting games right here. So, King of Fighter Maximum Impact. So, oh, six, seven, NBA NBA hoops, and there's my boy Shaq Diesel. NBA hoops, like I said, ba basically the same and very similar to. NBA Showtime on the Dreamcast, PS1, and arcade, like a arcade, um, ver arcade uh, machine. Like I said, you know, graphics are pretty sharp. Play, you know, players, models, and animated crowds. Like I said, this gameplay is pretty good. You know, like I said, good graphics. And uh, you could all, obviously, you could unlock, um, secret courts and do mini games and, uh, like, you know, courts like Beach Sides, Street Courts, and like, uh, you know, and also this is just like NBA Jam and NBA uh, Hang Time. Like I said, you know, you make a good, you do, you know, you do a good amount of shots. Like I said, you you be on fire, you know. So like I said, this is definitely um, this is definitely the arcade type. Like I said, three on three, 
extreme uh, three on three basketball, extreme style, and um, yeah, this is and brought to you by Midway. And Midway did a good, really good job at making making video games though. But like I said, you don't hear about Midway these days. So um, yeah, like I said, this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good basketball game to get, so definitely get this. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's seven. Next game is GTA 3. GTA 3 is, F G G GTA 3 is one of the best Grand Theft Auto games. Like I said, remember, just like yesterday, we were kids. Me, my, me, and my, bro, my older brother and stepbrother. Like I said, my stepdad rented this game for us. Um, I remember seeing the commercial in this game, and this game playing it was fun as hell. Like I said, um, you know, cool, like cool cheat codes, uh, cool cheat codes, running over people, getting in trouble with the cops, you know, beating them up if you got to, and do on all kinds and uh, all kinds of missions. And like I said, I'm definitely looking. I'm definitely looking to beat this game uh, someday. And I feel like that I'm going. I feel like that I'm going to. You know, um, I'm just not sure on how many more uh, missions I have to do. But I can't wait to beat this game because, like I said, so I can move on to get Vice City. Though, like I said, uh, but this game is actually this game is really good. I actually did a gameplay on this like a couple of Fridays ago for some of y'all who missed it. You know, I, I had some. I had pretty. Uh, you know, like I said, I had some fun playing this game too. You know, um, especially when that one old lady looking dressed up like a bum came up to me, no reason, and hit me. And then I had to, I had to get her ass back though. But like I said, this game, like I said, Grand Theft Auto GTA Three is one of my one of my games I like playing. I probably don't play it often, but like I said, I'm gonna like you know try to squeeze some time in there to do it. But like I said, man, today. Time goes by fast, y'all, and it'd be like, now that, you know, holidays coming up, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, it's already dark outside, it's it's crazy, y'all, so, yeah, this game, GTA 3, alright, 3, 6, 7, 8, my ninth game, and I got, I just, pre I got this game, but I gotta play, I gotta play this some more, though, Batman Begins, Batman Begins, this game, you know, probably one of the best um fighting and Batman games you can get. You know, the graphic the graphics are um graphics are good, movement and gameplay is on point. Um I think this is basically this is basically created from a movie created from a movie though. But um like I said, I think everything is on point with this uh on point with this game. Uh like I said, I probably I probably did up to like maybe the second level in this game, but I gotta get back into playing this game too. But like I said, this game probably, like I said, probably a really good fight, a good fighting game. Everything's on point to me, and like I said this is probably a this is probably a game that I would definitely uh, pretty much, excuse me, think about picking up and uh, getting. But this is good. This is like one of the game my, one of my favorites. I like. So Batman Begins. Number ten, I ain't played this game in a I ain't played this game in a minute, but I gotta get back into playing this game, and that's Fifty Cent Bulletproof. Now, Fifty Cent Bulletproof, like I said, probably one of the best shooting games you can get. One of the best shooting games you can get. This is available on uh, PlayStation Two and the old Xbox. You know, um, four CDs and uh, basically music music um produced by music by G G G G, G Unit Fifty Cent. You know, you know, music, you know, songs made, you know, songs he wrote, you know, um, in real life or in this game. Like I said, graphics, movement, and um, graphic, graphics and movements on, is on good, is on um, on point gameplay. You know, this is basically basically kind of like a um a movie in a way. And I think Eminem, I think it's Eminem is the one that plays a cop in this uh game, in, in this game though. But I'm on the level where I, where I was stuck on, where I'm at dude's house and we're robbing this dude's house, and um, I'm like, I was kind of stuck somewhere. But this game, it's like it doesn't, it doesn't have a map on one. Of, it, it's one of these games where it doesn't have a map on it. You kind of got to use your mind and like kind of retrace your steps, that type. But basically, Fifties takes out the most powerful gangs and crimes, you know, in the city, and um, 
you know, doing his thing. And when I think about this game, I think about the movie Get Rich or Die Trying or eat, and even Power. For those of you guys who watch Power or Raising Canaan, good shows and a good and pretty good movie. But yeah, this is a good this is actually a good game. I gotta get back into playing this because it's been so long since I played it. But I do remember what level I'm on and it's saved of course, so but you know, different kinds of what you like I said, different different kinds of weapons. You could stab stab people, he got a knife, um all kinds of stuff really. You know, take down enemies, whatever, twenty five dramatic Dramatic counter kill moves, cause yeah, he could do kill moves too. So, Fifty Cent, and then the game, he looks all. They make him looking like kind of like muscular, like his arms are looking like all strong and muscular and wise and whatnot. And he work out too, so Fifty Cent bulletproof. All right, in the last game, last game, and so um, so I got three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, look. So last game I got, and this is basically kind of just like uh, Mario Kart, Mario, Mario, just like Mario Kart Racing, is Pac-Man Rural R Rally. Uh, you know, I get back into playing this game too, but actually it's not hard. It's really not hard. It's just like Mario Kart. But this game, this game is good. This game is pretty good. Now, I, you know, comments on there talking about this game so underrated and whatnot, and which sucks, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think this game sucks. I think this game is actually is actually pretty fun. Just like Mario Kart, Mario Kart, um, Bomberman Kart, and any other game that was kind of made similar. But like I said, it's all similarities to it. You know, the thing. You know, they got the um, the main theme that this uh, game is pretty good. You know, a lot of a lot of characters. Pac Man is himself. Miss Pac Man. Miss Pac Man. Pac their enemies and like I said, you know, a lot of kind of a lot of characters in this movie. I mean, in this game, you know, like I said, the graphics are good. Gameplay is nice. Um, pretty, you know, pretty fun, too, you know. And it might have made a, you know, maybe it might have would have made an okay um, racing arcade game, though. Yeah, no, but, you know, like I said, I like this game. It's pretty, um, it could be pretty, it's pretty fun. Um, just got to get back into playing it, though. But, you know, it's been a while because, um. I'm too busy trying to get more, you know, looking up more games that I haven't heard of and to get, you know, and sometimes I switch it up every other Tuesday. I play different types of games, but like I said, this game is, uh, this game is definitely, you know, a must get in a way. Like I said, and those are just, and like I said, some of those games, like I said, I just got to get back into playing it because like I said, every Tuesdays. You know, depending on what time I get off work, come I gotta go to the store, come home, then I wanna then I wanna sit down, have a snack, then you know, eat dinner, rinse my mouth out, do my teeth, take a shower and all that. And it's like, you know, then you know, I am and depending on what time it is, and then I'm looking outside and it's dark outside, it's like, okay, so now I only got time to play this game, this game, this game, this game, this game. So it's like, you know, yeah, it's just um just got to play it by an area, though. But, yeah. But, anyway, like, yeah. So, that was about, um. So, three, six, nine. So, that was, yeah, so, like, that's, so far, that's, like, my 11 games that, um. Some of my, uh. That's, like, 11 PlayStation 2 games that, you know, I like to play. And that are kind of, in a way, my favorite, though. I just got to get back into playing them, though. But, um. I, but, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, y'all. So, y'all know what to do. Leave, you know. Leave y'all's comments and thoughts down below. Click that thumbs up. This is your boy, Garrett Spencer. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, and I'm out. Remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.